Hey guys, I'm Osher 34 here, and today we're going to take a look at Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Bumblebee. This is a brand new mold um, from the first edition um, figure. And it's actually, it's not as bad as it looks, actually. Um, I actually really do like this figure. Um, the first edition is a better figure, but this one does have its qualities. Um, and I, I actually do like this figure a lot more than I thought I would. But anyway, um, here is the vehicle mode. You can see um, it is considerably smaller than the first edition, actually. Uh, let me just compare them. Um, you can see that you know this one is really small. Um, I mean, the RID line seems to be a lot smaller than the first edition. I mean, yeah, that's kind of weird. Um, I don't particularly like how small they are. I think you know, the first edition Bumblebee was a very nice size. It's a very ideal size. This one just seems a little bit too tiny, but it's not too bad. Um, now, one other difference that I do like is that this one does come with the dual cannons. That do split apart um, instead of just the single cannon that came with the first edition. Um, they are pretty similar. I mean, this is the first edition one, and here is one of the um, ones from the RID one. So the color, you know, it's almost the same. Um, I think the first edition one is just a little bit darker, but you know, color wise, they are very similar. But these ones, you can either give them to him in each hand, or you can pick them together to form, I don't know, a quad cannon, so that's pretty cool. But um, that's about it for the vehicle mode. Um, I mean, the vehicle mode isn't that you know overwhelming, to be honest. Um, I mean, I don't know if you if this is actually coming across properly, but you can see that the first edition um, figure is actually a, a lot darker yellow um, in comparison to the RID version. And this one lacks an Autobot symbol, whereas this one does. And um, this one actually has an Autobot symbol. Um, yeah, make it that what you will. But all around, this is a nice looking vehicle mode. Now, the transformation is where things really start to get fun on this figure. Um, I really, really, I really enjoy transforming this thing. Um, just because of the Automorph gimmick, I just think it really does look nice. But it also hampers some of the stuff in robot mode. But um, we'll get to that. Anyway, transform him. I'm just going to unpeg this entire section back here. Fold out his arms just from under here. Like that. Just can try and get all of them. Like that. Got to flip out the doors a little bit. Then... What we're going to do is going to lift this up and fold it down, unpeg this, rotate that up, just like so. In fact, we're going to do the legs first, fold out the legs. Um, these do transform very similar to the first edition figure, um, which is okay, I guess. But there are the legs. Um, now for the automorph. What we're going to do is actually going to grab this section and we're just going to sort of pull it out, and you can see that everything just you have it folded forward properly, everything locks into place nicely, and um, you don't have to do a lot of fiddling with it, so let me just do that again. I mean, there it was before, unpeg that, and everything just locks together really nicely. You can just kind of bend the arms a little bit if you want, and kind of fold these down just a little bit if you like. Um, and there is Bumblebee in his robot mode. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to do is you're actually supposed to... Um, sort of fold this down and that will sort of keep him all together so yeah forget about that my mistake but there is bumblebee and this uh, this is actually a nice figure um it's actually pleasantly surprised me because i was absolutely just disgusted with the way this guy looked in the pictures he looked absolutely terrible in the pictures um now in terms of accuracy he's not that brilliant but in terms of playability and just you know how funny he is, um, he does redeem himself because this is a very fun figure and I really do enjoy messing around with this thing. Um, now, you know, granted, the portions are a little bit weird. Um, he's got kind of a weird chest. His head is a little bit too far up and his shoulders are a little bit too far down. Um, but other than that, it's not too bad. I mean, can you see he's got a massive torso and really tiny legs? But um, it's not as bad in person. Um, I think what would have made this figure a million times better is that if they made a way for this piece to swivel around like they did on the first edition. Because on the first edition figure, now um, that bit um, is this piece um, in that robot mode. And this piece could actually rotate around, but it does it very seamlessly as well. So I would have loved it if they'd have actually found a way to just rotate that around so it would just go face down. And I think that would have made the figure so much better, in my opinion. Um, and I believe there is a mod that you can kind of have this head set down a little bit further, and that looks a lot better. But um, yeah, but this figure isn't as bad as people make it sound. For articulation, he has got a joint up here. Um, can also sort of bend kind of in and out there. Got a um, elbow joint, and the hands do not move. 
I thought they did. He's got a ball jointed head, um, but it does sort of get hampered a little bit. No waist articulation, which is unfortunate. He's got a ball joint up here, thigh rotation, bend at the knee, and the feet are on um, little pivot joints, but he can't really move them um, very well, like the first edition. He can't move his heel independently, um, which sort of sucks, but never mind. It's still pretty decent articulation. So here is just a quick comparison between the two figures. Um, so you can see here is the RID version next to the first edition version. Um, now you can see the differences. The first edition is obviously the better figure, it's the more accurate figure. Um, and I personally prefer this one, but um, since the first edition one has been cancelled, this one is currently the only option we're going to get. Because the first edition prices are going to skyrocket, um, I predict. because. You know, a lot of people are going to be struggling to find these guys, so um, I think this was going to be the more affordable option. But, um, all that aside, I do actually recommend you give this guy a chance. Um, I mean, they are both nice figures. I mean, this one's obviously better, but this one is not bad. Um, and I do actually... he's not, he's not bad. Now, as for the weapons, um, here they are. They can peg into his hand, um, just like that, and he can hold them. Um, which is pretty cool, but you can also um, unpeg them and you can give them the guns independent, you know, separately. So that's a little bit more accurate to the show. He had guns in both arms. Um, so just a shame they don't attach to his arms, but never mind. But he's still pretty cool looking armed up there. Um, really nice. What's also pretty cool is that if you do have the first edition, um, you can take the first edition gun and it will actually go in there. Um, it doesn't go in there very solidly, but you can hold the first edition weapon. So if you want to, you can do that. But that is about it for Robots in Disguise Boy. So let's get him transformed back into his vehicle mode. First thing I'm going to do, straighten the arms out, just like that. Um, activate the Automorph gimmick. Just kind of get all this done. Flip this piece up and flip this little piece out. And we're going to peg those in there. Fold the doors in. I like to do that all first because it is kind of a pain to get them in afterwards. Um, then what we're going to do, take this piece, fold all the arms up like that. And there is more or less the top of the car. I mean, that's sort of a gear walk mode. Um, then what we're going to do, I'm going to flip up the feet and the legs just like that. Peg them together, just like so. And we're just going to rotate this piece up and peg them in like that and it isn't really it's not that solid um, sometimes I do have trouble getting it all pegged together but once you do um, there is a bumblebee for some reason that piece isn't going down properly there's bumblebee back in his vehicle mode now one thing I did forget to mention earlier um, about the automorph gimmick is that in vehicle mode this piece on mine doesn't like to stay down because um, it does sort of stick up and it doesn't lock into place so it does sort of you know, kind of stick up sometimes, and that is kind of annoying. But other than that, this is actually a really nice figure, and I really do highly recommend it. But thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you guys later.